Welcome to the simple accessory, simple one hitter and dugout instructional video. We're going to walk you through how to use the simple one hitter and dugout. What comes in the package is two different items. The first one is the manual that gives you a step by step on best uses. You can always check simple.ac slash one hitter for more details. Second item that comes in the package is the actual one hitter and dugout. You can see the one hitter is an innovative notch different design with a tapered edge and a white ring. You have an adjustable slider that tells you how big your hit will be. And you also have your little convenient poker that is multifaceted. Now we're going to show you how to use the product. Simply take off the cap, you put it in this T position, you need to put it on either side, then you take out the one hitter. You know which side to load based off of the tapered edge and then also the little etchings. The smaller etchings point which side to load. And you know what's end to smoke out of based off the white ring. The simple one hitter is adjustable. Look at the adjusting slider on the top and you can have between one to four notches. This would be a one notcher and you can tell by the edge of the slider or you can pull it all the way back for a four notcher at 0.2 grams or the one notcher at 0.08 grams. To load your product, you can do it one of two ways. You have the stab and twist, where you just go in and twist the product around. Nice hit. Or you can do the scrape and drag, where you go in at a 45 degree angle, scrape along the bottom, and a good hit as well. After loading your product, put your mouth on the wedge with the white ring, and then light from this end. Inhale with the flame over on this side and then when you're done you can simply push the slider all the way to the edge Where you can see it coming out and you can use the included poker to wipe off the edge Lastly when you need to clean the product, maybe you're having a little restricted airflow issue You can just bring the poker in here and make sure to drag it out Make sure not to push it in now we're going to show you some of the best tips and tricks to ensure you get the best use. After repeated use, the slider can sometimes be hard to move. The best way to loosen it up, simply use the flame, heat it up, and it will now make the slider way easier to move. But that indicates that you should probably give it a deep clean, and we'll show you later in the video how to do that. For different airflows, you can load it with a smaller loading size, and after, you can simply make the size bigger and you'll have more air for the product to flow through. For the dugout, instead of holding the cap in your hand, you can actually use it, put it in this T position to ensure that it's safe and stored in either side, and that still allows you to pull out the one hitter. If you find that some of your product gets too stuck down in the bottom, you can always loosen it up and stir it up using the included poker. If you're in a pinch, you don't have a grinder, you can put unground product into the little storage container and just chop it up with either the poker or you can even use the one hitter. For a deep clean, you can disassemble the one hitter. All you do is you use the included poker, it's actually a screwdriver. You put it into where the slider is and then you just rotate nice and easy along it. You just wanna make sure you get all the rotations out and you just simply take out the little screw and the metal adjuster piece. Then what you do from here is you just push out on the bottom. See that there's two different pieces. Now all four of these pieces you can now soak in isopropyl alcohol. To reassemble the one hitter, you want to make sure to put the ball bearing side, this, you want to put that ball bearing side to match up with where you put your mouth. So you push it through. You also want to make sure the slider uh, opening is available for you to put the little slider piece in. And after you did, make sure you set it down, put the screw in, and then just screw it back in. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. Then you're good to go. Put it back into the dugout. And you're good to go.